morning everybody. My name is Darlene and I have Parkinson's. So today it's Friday. Uh, we went out for a little while today. We got up this morning and, and finished up doing a few things that we had to do around the house. And then we decided that we were going to go for a little bit, Claudine and I. And uh, so Bill stayed at home and we went up to uh, Staples. I needed ink for the printer. I was trying to print something and a recipe and it just wouldn't print so we had to get some more ink so we went up to Staples for that and then when we were out I said let's stop in at the Big Fancy with Giant Tiger and um, when we were at the Giant Tiger I was looking because they're right in their turnover parts of the season where things are on clearance they're bringing in the winter wear so I wanted to see if I could get a couple pairs of trousers that were um, just a little bit bigger than the ones I have because the injections into my neck caused me, there are steroids and it causes you to put on a false bit of weight because as soon as you quit taking the, the steroid then the weight goes off again but in the meantime I put on 10 pounds and so I wanted to have pants that were just a little bit looser than what I had and I didn't want to spend a lot on it because I have enough pants for at the regular amount so uh, but I wanted to get a couple pairs that were just a little bit bigger. So we went up and uh, we found a couple pairs that were $10. So we, we bought those. Um, I figured that at $10, you don't mind buying it. But if you have to pay $25, you only get one pair. But at the $10, we can get the two pairs. So we went and got the two pairs of the pants. And uh, did we get anything else? I don't think so. I think that was everything that we got when we were out. Oh, and an iced coffee. We went through McDonald's and got an iced coffee because we really enjoy that. So we did that. And, I'll be, oh yes, I was looking for a postcard. Who would have thought that it would have been that hard to find a postcard? I know you can buy them at the airport, but I'm not going out to the airport. So um, I was just looking around and I cannot find any postcards. Nothing. I wanted something that said Calgary or Canada or Alberta or something. And I couldn't find anything. So for what I want it for, I'm going to just print a picture up on uh, the computer, cut it the size of a postcard and just use that. So I'm gonna do that tonight, I think. I'm gonna look, look in the computer stuff and see if I've got a pattern that I can use. I'm sure I'll be able to find something there. So I did that and then we had finished up the rooms. I slept in the, the new room last night I was a little confused in the nighttime when I woke up and kind of didn't recognize right where I was immediately, but I, it didn't take me long to garner my thoughts together and figure out where I was. So uh, that was good. I got that done. Um, now tonight will probably be easier. I'll probably remember it now in the middle of the night when I wake up and can't quite see where I am. I, I'll remember that I'm in the new room. But it's, it's funny how just something that small can get you disoriented you know it's it, it it's not that it's very different from I'm just going to cover my arm with a seat pad it's <coughs> excuse me it's not that it's very different I'm just across the hall but it, the door is on the opposite side of the room and it's just a little bit different so I have to think about where I am and uh but it, it will work out good so I've got all my stuff all put away and everything else. Bill has still a few things to put away and he's going to do that tonight, I hope. And uh, and then we can get his recliner up there so he can be comfortable when he's watching TV instead of sitting on the edge of his bed. So that's the, what the plan is for that. Um, Claudine, she is, uh, she has broken out this rash that she has on her skin. It is just terrible. And it's very, very sore for her. It's itchy, like it's so itchy. And like on her hands, it's just all rubbed raw and whatnot. So she has another appointment with the dermatologist, but not for a couple months. And they, the, she wanted her to do like, put the cream on for the first month, so much a day, and then a little bit less for the second month and a little bit less for the third month. And then she would see how she was doing. But I said to her, you know, you might have to go in before that and see because this cream that she's using is so drying to her skin that in between using this uh, uh, ointment that they've told her to use, she's having to put CeraVe hand lotion on or CeraVe body lotion on 
just to get some moisture into her skin because it's very very dry and you know when when your skin's dry like that it gets itchy and that's just not great so she has to do that um, Clayton has finished up his uh, first week of school now he's got a first weekend and then he'll be, he'll be done by the end end of October which is Halloween so he'll be done by Halloween and I sure hope that he does well in it because he's been a long haul his eight years of doing um, some school every year and working the rest of the year so I'm really hoping that he does well for his final exams um, and he's got to get through this uh, see he's the, the final one here is very hard usually but he's not as worried even about it being so hard because he said emotionally the last class for him was very hard because little Aurora was just over a year ago and um, little Aurora she was born premature and so right when Cal was in school um, he was worried about losing his wife and he was very worried about losing his child and uh, you know while she was in the hospital trying to hold on to that baby as long as she could and then the baby was born prematurely and so Cal was trying to do school he was trying to drive Finn to the babysitters and home from the babysitters still have time to visit with Aurora and um, Ashley and so he said emotionally the last time was so much harder than this time this time he gets to come home each night and you know his wife and children are there doing fine so that's he said uh, makes this one here a little bit more relaxed for him so I just hope that he can do well at it and then he's done it he said it, he, he never expected that he was going to be going to school for this length of time so he's he'll be glad when it's finished and I'm sure Ashley will be glad when it's finished too because it's it's a big chunk of money every year to go to school and then it's also hard because you're not ha earning your money while you're going so uh, it'll be nice for him to be finished anyway I'm just prattling on here for no reason at all um, so I'm going to stop right now and I'm going to uh, leave it at that and I'm not sure what I'm doing tomorrow Claudine's going to make a sweet potato soup tomorrow she has the vegetables all chopped up for it and she's going to make that she might even make it overnight tonight I think so anyway um, she's going to be making sweet potato soup for tomorrow and then whatever's left we'll put in the freezer and uh, I'm looking forward to that I love a good bowl of soup anyway we're going to leave it at that we'll talk to you all tomorrow and hope you're having a great day today and tomorrow is wonderful for you all okay bye bye